to the chief was the segment. And despite all the reports that Roman suffered an injury, Roman was here tonight on SmackDown. Well, the confidence on Roman's face went away real quick as Jimmy Uso said, I didn't do what I did for you, Roman. It had nothing to do with you. Jay would come out and Jimmy would say, I did it for you to stop you turning into Roman Reigns. It basically led to a lovely chant from the WWE audience, which I can't repeat this early in YouTube. But nonetheless, as Jimmy was leaving, Jay laid out the bloodline. He then laid out Jimmy looked directly into the camera and said, I'm done, I'm out, I'm out of the bloodline, out of SmackDown and out of WWE and left through the audience. Shocking end to SmackDown. Did not see that coming. Surely this is a storyline and Jay's going to return in a few weeks somehow. Mainly because you may remember on Sunday, we did a video talking about the idea that Rikishi could referee a match between Jay and Jimmy Uso. Well... This poster came out today by Rikishi and it literally reads, come meet Rikishi before he referees at Payback. Now, Rikishi has removed this from the poster since and reposted it. Interesting botch. Was it the promoter getting us to talk about this? Maybe, but come on. My hope is with this coming out and leaking online, I kind of hope WWE doesn't scrap the idea because I think Rikishi's involvement with the bloodline is long overdue. This is Things You Might Have Missed from Friday Night Smackdown. Make sure you've hit the like button. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button too. Edge was on Smackdown this week. I totally didn't see this coming. Edge surprised everyone, got a thunderous pop. Rightfully so. Of course, Edge is meant to be on Smackdown next week in Toronto for his 25th anniversary. So, you know what? The fact he was here tonight was cool. And he got straight in the ring and got straight to the point. He wanted a match next week against Sheamus. Now, what would then happen? Would we, we got a story for this. Edge would appear on Sheamus's YouTube channel in 2019. It would be the inspiration for him to come back to wrestling. Sheamus would talk about how he got into WWE and if it wasn't for a conversation he had with Edge, he wouldn't be standing in the ring. I really like this because it kind of stripped back the kayfabe of it and told you the backstory. And of course, we got this photo of Sheamus. <laughs> that was on Edge's daughter's bike, which I think is absolutely hilarious. But this was nice. Sometimes these feuds feel very repetitive because it's just one person hates the other person. This wasn't about that. These are friends who have mutual respect. Edge, who's celebrating 25 years in WWE next week, wanted a match and obviously to highlight a friend. This is perfect setup, perfect amount of respect. So obviously some jabs in between the two because of course you're going to. Do you know what? Sign me up next week. Sheamus versus Edge. The new SmackDown announced team debuted this week. Of course, it is Corey Graves, Kevin Patrick. And Michael Cole. Now, I like this in a way because Kevin Patrick is in the center. He was still the voice of the commentary team. Michael Cole seemed to take a back seat. I don't think it's because they dislike Michael Cole or anything like that. I think what they're doing is allowing Kevin Patrick to work alongside Michael Cole and learn from Michael Cole. So that's hopefully a very good sign. Charlotte Flair took on Oscar tonight in the first match of the show. It didn't take long for the entire Damage Control faction to come out, though. EO Sky on a victory parade, they called it, around the ring to show off the newly won Women's Championship. Makes a lot of sense. Of course, she's going to want the spotlight. And they took it from Charlotte and Oscar. No winner in this match because Damage Control got involved. Kind of a little bit confusing, but I can see why EO would want the spotlight. She just won a championship. I also love to hear the, the use of Dakota. Obviously, we know Dakota Kai is injured, really. Her being out there shouldn't be a thing, but her sort of managing, her coming out and watching this and being with her buddies during EO celebration moments should be a thing. So I kind of like her inclusion here. Well, following her win at SummerSlam, EO Sky now does have a brand new Champion of the Sky t-shirt available on WWE Shop. Karrion Cross got a really interesting video package this week prior to his match with AJ Styles. Lots of nice imagery used in this. And he ended it by saying, a prophet is nothing 
without his disciples. Are we getting a carrying cross faction? Well, the match with AJ really wasn't a bad match at all. Of course, we'd see Scarlett and Mishin fighting on the outside. I wonder if they're still going to do a match between those two, despite the fact AJ beat Cross, and theoretically that should be the end of this. Only reason I say that is because Carrion was laughing at the end. And I think after that vignette of him talking about having disciples and stuff, maybe we get the OC versus whatever faction Carrion Cross is going to debut. LA Knight was on SmackDown this week, taking on Top Dollar from Hit Row. With Michael Cole back on commentary, that meant Michael Cole had to rap. He said, LA Knight, future so bright. Top Dollar, about to be smashed tonight. I mean, don't quit the commentary, please, Michael Cole. <laughs> It would be LA Knight victorious, though. I've seen a lot of people hating on this and the idea of LA Knight facing just top dollar, but we know the feud right now is with The Miz over on Raw, and this is what they started this week. I feel like this was just a reason to put LA Knight on SmackDown. And again, LA Knight gets the pops. Calgary hasn't seen him yet. They want to see him. There's a lots of yeah shirts and stuff. You even had LA Knight at the end sort of talking about The Miz and Raw and all that kind of stuff, so... I don't think it's a big deal. I thought it was pretty good. WWE wished Hulk Hogan a happy birthday this week. I was in the kitchen at the time pouring a drink and I'm thinking, is that Hogan's music? I legit thought Hulk Hogan was back. I'm thinking, what is going on? <laughs> no word of a lie. I hate it when they do stuff like that. Also, WrestleMania tickets are on sale next Friday. So are you going to go to WrestleMania? Let me know if you are in the comment section down below. Lashley and the Street Profits were backstage. Now, after the Street Profits attack last week, this was really interesting. Lashley was talking about taking championships and stuff like that. Even saying SmackDown needs some new blood to run it. A direct shot of the bloodline here. Is this sort of the faction that could potentially replace the bloodline? Now the bloodline is crumbling on Friday nights. Maybe, you know, maybe. AJ Styles pyro tonight. Was it just me or was the pyro on the right like proper explosive? Like, I don't know if it was meant to do that. <laughs> Theory would attack Escobar backstage early on in the night, trapping his leg in like a casing. It actually looked quite painful in fairness. Escobar somehow would be medically cleared. He'd walk out to the ring with his leg strapped, but he would be attacked pre-match by Theory, meaning the match wouldn't happen. Theory wanted to go home, but Adam Pearce would send Rey Mysterio to the ring instead for a US title match, which Rey Mysterio won. I really like this. The big celebration at the end, all the pyro with the LWO there. But what is next now for Austin Theory? A lot of people expected this to happen. Now what happens with Theory after he's lost the belt is going to be very interesting. Let me know what you want with Theory in the comment section down below. I thought SmackDown was good this week with the surprise from Edge, the shocking ending with a Bloodline segment. Lots and lots of stuff to talk about. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Turn on notifications. Never miss another upload. Like the video. Share the video. Catch you next time. Peace!